What's up guys, it's Alec Mac one on one and as you guys have asked for, I am finally doing a collection video. You guys have been asking for this for a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and do it, and we'll see how this looks. I'm actually filming on my new GoPro Hero 4, just so you guys know. So we're going to start with the top, and then go down from there. So this is a custom WEM16 DMR style build. It's really cool, shoots really well. Um, that is the first gun. Secondly, most of you should know what this looks like. This is my Polar Star. This is actually a fairly new Mark 18 configuration, but you guys should recognize this lower from all of the videos that I've done if you're subscribed to my channel. This gun's awesome, I love it. Next, we're gonna go to a sort of a new gun. This is actually a Valken uh, V12 engine. It's been put into a Classic Army lower and a CYMA or CYMA upper receiver. Just got a standard quad rail on it. It's pretty nice. We haven't exactly uh, tested it out, but some of the trigger systems and the new ideas um, that Vulcans put into this are just really cool and I've heard a lot of great things about them. So we're gonna go ahead and give them a try here soon, as soon as I actually get air. Next, we're going to go, this is the Franken gun of the bunch. This is just a standard M4, it's got a JG plastic body, um, just a lot of miscellaneous parts inside. It's fairly, um, fairly simple, not super high-end uh, build, but it works really well. Um, it's just meant to last, it's actually for a new player on our team that's going to get into it, or is getting into Airsoft for the first time, so SureShot Midget built this gun for him. Next, we're going to go... To this gun this is actually an echo one m4 it's got a sweet daniel defense omega rail on it metal body um cool little gmp flash hider slash suppressor slash whatever amplifier you want it actually amplifies the sound but it was originally a suppressor before the barrel end actually got taken out of it next this is a really cool gun this is actually a gmp tank this is a uh, walk it's actually a knight's armament traded body um, these are, it's a stoner body. These are actually really nice. Um, they're actually fairly expensive, I believe. Um, but this is just a custom built gas bag rifle. This is uh, my own and it actually needs a little bit of work. It needs a new carrier on it, but it's really cool um, just to be able to have that sort of short gun and just get in sort of the gas bullet back room. Next, we're gonna go. Uh, this is a WE PDW. This is a sweet gun. It shoots really well. It shoots really accurately. Um, it's absolutely crazy as far as um, trigger response goes. It just, it just responds really well. It's really nice. It's got the Magpul grip here on the front, and then the rest of its stock is, as you can see, we sport a lot of the Magpul externals um, on our guns. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go to another WE gun. This is actually the WE Masada or ACR. Next here, we're actually, this is another custom build. This is a uh, classic army metal body. Um, it's got a sweet key mod rail system up here. Uh, the battery's actually taped to the back of the stock because it's a 10.8 and doesn't fit inside. Um, we've got a GMP replica aim point on top of that. Now we're gonna go move to the other not M4 guns. As you guys can tell, we kind of like M4s in America. So this is a Sima AK. Um, it's got kind of weird paint job on that, but this gun is actually shooting really great. It shoots about 22 rounds a second. Um, it's got some SHS stuff in it and it's just really well put together internally, which is going to be awesome. It's just, it shoots, it shoots like a beast. It's very, very accurate. Sima makes great AKs. They make absolutely fantastic AKs that last forever and kick absolute butt. Next, we're going to go to the GMP M14. This is some gun that we've only had for about a year now. It's got some issues, it's had some issues, um, it's a different gearbox which is just weird, uh, but the recon style, it just looks really, really cool. I, the first gun, gun that I actually owned and had an AEG was a Sima M14 and it was awesome. It was the much the full SOCOM length barrel which actually came, or the grip came all the way out to here, but it was really cool. This GMP one shoots, when it shoots, it shoots very flawlessly. The plastic build is actually really comfortable. It's kind of like a polymer plastic build, but it is absolutely wonderful to be able to shoot. It's really, really accurate and shoots a long way. It's got a really long barrel in there. It's like a 490 millimeter barrel, I think, which is just natural because it's a big, uh, long gun. Next, we're gonna go to some tri shotties. This is uh, what we actually used when we played in an indoor place. It actually ended up shutting down. Um, but this is just a standard Crossman UTD tri shot. It was clear, so uh, we painted it with some snake skin. And then this is a UTG tri shot. This one's um, got the different stock on it, and this is a different style, um, the N1014. Uh, the snake skin camouflage paint job was meh. Um, that was one of our first spray paint jobs and really the only spray paint job. So it looks pretty cool for what um, for what it is. 
but nothing super fancy or anything. So now, those of you that are pistol fanatics, here we go. Uh, this is a really cool Taurus. Uh, this is a PT-99 uh, metal gas blow pistol. This is actually the most Franken pistol uh, gun in the world. It's kind of got a lot of different stuff. It's got some KJ parts on it. Um, the mag is uh, from that Taurus PT-99. We don't really know what uh, brand this is, but it's Franken brand, and it shoots really well. Next, we got a USP. Uh, this is the large frame. This is the full frame one. Um, this one's from KWA. It's had some issues with the hop up just because KDB stuff sometimes can be kind of finicky, um, but it shoots really well when it does shoot well. Um, and then the build's just very nice quality, as you guys know that KDB does make some really nice pistols. This is actually a brand new 1911. This is uh, one of the Elite Force 1911s. It's absolutely awesome. My brother's actually had one for three years now. That was the. This is actually the second one he purchased because his last his last one lasted for three years and just shot so absolutely flawlessly. Um, next, we have another. Uh, this one's actually the Taurus PT11. This one's more of like a KJ combination, whatever. Um, but this thing uh, shoots very well. It's got a cool extended magazine on it. We've had about three or four of these throughout the years and just keep going back to them because the CO2 is really cool. Um, plus it has a full auto function, which is just really cool if you're playing around or target shooting. You can't really use them at most, uh, at any Milsim op actually. Uh, there's actually some that kind of allow um, them to be used, which is kind of cool. But most of them are semi only, like, at least like the American Milsim ones that I'm going to. So. It actually shoots very well. CO2, I honestly think, is way better than green gas just because it, um, it's easier to get rid of. I know it's higher pressure and sometimes can create problems, but I really like it. Next, this is a WE P226, also with an extended magazine. This has got some internal upgrades. Shoots really well. WE has some problems with their mags. They're kind of just, um, as you guys know, probably they're not the greatest as far as quality goes, and they need some work on them before they work uh, perfectly. So second to last, I actually have another gun that I'll show you guys and explain why after this. But this is the TAC, <laughs> TAC Force uh, M. It's just, it's just this is the Uzi. This is the. It's not like built to specs or anything, but we call it the Uzi. It's called the TF11. Um, semi on full auto. This thing shoots like 25, 28 rounds a second on full auto, and it's ridiculous. It doesn't have any hop up, but it's really cool. Just gun to mess around with. So we're going to go back to the M4s and what <gasps> the upper got changed by sure shot midget while we weren't looking. So yeah, that's the Mark 18 upper. This is the one that you guys will probably most likely be familiar with. This is my baby Troy 13 inch rail system, the Vesky 16 inch silver barrel. We got a big dragon flash hider on there. Um, some stickers, some sweet UBR and mag pull furniture as well as a replica EOTech. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know you guys have been asking for a while for a collection. so. Hopefully I'll be able to just put this up soon and so you guys will be able to enjoy and be like, dang, that's a lot of guns. Guns are sick. Uh, airsoft, woo. So hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I will probably not do one of these again for a long time, probably like a year or so. Um, I know I really haven't uploaded one for, uh, I don't know how long it's been. It's probably been like two years since I uploaded a collection video because I never keep the same guns if you guys watch my unboxing videos and stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been Alec Mag one on one and I will plate carrier you later at American Milsim Broken Home 3, which I leave for tomorrow. I mean Broken Home 4. Sorry. Goodbye.